This lecture is part of an online commutative algebra course and will be more about dimension of local rings. So we have um, just given four different definitions of the dimension of a local ring. First of all, there's the definition due to Brouwer and Menger and Uri's son, which is, um, you remember, you define the dimension of a space x to be less than or equal to n if every point has a neighbourhood um, with, um, so every point has arbitrarily small neighbourhoods with boundary of dimension less than n. And we say that a local ring has dimension n if its spectrum has dimension n. Then we have the dimension due to Krull, where what you do is you look at chains of irreducible closed subsets, where zi is irreducible closed and zi is not equal to zi plus 1, and you look at the length of this chain, and that's the dimension of the topological space, well, rather the supremum of the length of the chains is the dimension. And as before, you define the dimension of a local ring to be the Krull dimension of its spectrum, consisting of prime ideals. Um, thirdly, we had the definition using Hilbert polynomials, which I'll describe a bit more precisely. So if you've got a local ring R with maximal ideal M, we can look at um, sum of um, m to the i over m to the i plus 1. So this is r over m plus m over m squared and so on. So this is now a graded ring. And we're assuming r is notarian, so we can apply the previous theorem about Hilbert polynomials to this, and we see that the dimension of r over m to the n is a polynomial in n for n sufficiently large. This means the dimension is a vector space, not its dimension as a ring. Um, and the degree of this polynomial is the dimension of um, the local ring r. And the fourth definition we're going to look at is um, um, the minimum number of parameters um, so a system of parameters is a set of generators for an ideal i with m contained i contained an m to the r for some r. So um, a set of generators for m will certainly be a system of parameters, but we may be able to find a smaller system of parameters that doesn't generate the whole of m, but still generates some power of m. So the dimension is the minimum of the cardinality of a system of parameters. So let's just give some quick examples of um, these definitions. So let's just take the ring R to be, say, um, take a ring of power series and two variables and quotient out by the ideal y squared equals x cubed. So the spectrum of this ring is sort of looks like a ghost of a cusp. So if this was polynomials then r would be um, just a cusp but we've sort of taken a completion so all we get is, is, is a tiny little bit of r. And then for the Krull dimension we have the following um, ideals, we've got the ideal 0 and we've got the ideal generated by x and y. And these are both prime ideals and this corresponds to a point and this corresponds to the whole spectrum of R which is one dimensional so we've got z0, we've got a chain of length 1 and um, it's not difficult to check this is the maximal chain in fact the, this ring only has two prime ideals so that's rather easy to check. So here we find the dimension is equal to 1. If we look at the definition using Hilbert polynomials, what we do is we look at the dimension 
of r over m to the n, where m is the maximal ideal x, y. Well, we can also write r as being a set of formal power series in, in t squared and t cubed, where t squared is x and t cubed is y. Um, so the maximal ideal m is just um, uh, essentially all non-zero powers of, of t. And you can see that r over m to the n has dimension um, 2n minus 1 for n greater than 0, and this polynomial has degree 1, so the dimension is equal to 1 using the, the Hilbert definition. Um, finally, we can ask the definition using a system of parameters. Notice that m needs two generators. Um, however, we can find an ideal contained in m and containing some power of m if we just look at the ideal generated by uh, t squared equals x, then m contains this and this contains m squared. So, so x is a system of parameters for this ring and this contains only one element so the dimension is equal to 1 using the definition via a system of parameters. Um, and what we're going to do is to prove that all these three definitions of a ring, so all these four definitions of a de dimension of a ring are equivalent. And what we'll do is we'll show that the Krull dimension is less than or equal to the definition defined by Hilbert polynomials. And we'll show that this is less than or equal to the definition using a system of parameters. And we'll show that that's less than or equal to the um, Krull dimension. So if we prove these three inequalities, that will prove that these three are all the same, and we will prove that the Kroll dimension is equal to the brouwer menger urison definition. Um, so this is all for notarian local rings. And before starting on the proof of this, I'll just make a few comments about this. First of all, you can ask what happens for non-notarian rings. Well, for non-notarian rings, everything gets weird. The dimension using one of these is quite often just infinite, which isn't terribly useful. But we can have other weird things. For instance, the Kroll dimension of R of X might be greater than 1 plus the Kroll dimension of R. So R of X is basically a sort of affine line over the ring R, and that really ought to have dimension 1 plus the dimension of R. And it does for notarian rings, but for non-notarian rings it doesn't. So everything is, is going a bit weird. Um, um, I should have mentioned we can define the dimension of any ring R to be the supremum of the dimension of R P for um, where, where, where these are the local rings of points. And it's an easy exercise to show, show that um, um, this is just another way of defining the Kroll dimension of the spectrum of R. Um, if you want the definition using Hilbert polynomials or systems parameters, then it's not so easy to define the dimension directly for a non-local ring. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the proof of these three inequalities into several different lectures because the proofs are all maybe a little bit technical and if I put them all in one big lecture it would just kind of be a bit too much. So what we're going to do in this lecture is just show this equality here showing that the Kroll dimension is the same as the standard definition of dimension in general topology and in the next few lectures we will show these three inequalities. So um, Let's first of all show that the Kroll dimension is less than or equal to the brouwer menger urison dimension. So suppose we have a chain Z0 contained in Z1, contained in Z2 and so on, of irreducible closed subsets. So the Kroll dimension is, is, is going to be 
given by a supremum of chains like this. And what we're going to do that the BMU dimension of ZI is at least I, and that would be enough to show the Kroll dimension is less than or equal to the BMU dimension. And this is quite easy because we just pick some point in ZI that's not in ZI minus 1, and this has BMU dimension um, greater than or equal to n minus 1 by induction. Sorry, greater than or equal to i minus 1. Um, and we also note that zi minus 1 is in the boundary of any neighbourhood of some point p in zi minus zi minus 1. Um, you can see that using the fact that zi is irreducible. So zi has b mu dimension um, at least equal to, so it's strictly greater than the BMU dimension of ZI minus 1. And by induction, that's enough to show that the BMU dimension of ZI is at least I, so this equality holds. So this holds for all topological spaces. Um, Finally, we want to show the other implication. So we're going to show that the B. Brouwer Menger Urison dimension of a space is less than or equal to the Kroll dimension. This is only for notarian spaces. Um, it fails in general. For instance, if we take our space X to be just the real line, the B. Brouwer Menger Urison dimension is 1, whereas the Kroll dimension is 0. In fact, the Kroll dimension is 0 for any Hausdorff space, as we mentioned earlier. So, um, um, and the idea is that we show for any closed subset. X, the Kroll dimension of X is at least the um, BMU dimension of X. Here I'm using this to just to mean the Kroll dimension and this to mean the um, Brouwer Menger Urison dimension. Otherwise, pick a minimal closed subset violating this. And here we use the fact that space is notarian because in a notarian topological space any collection of set, any non-empty collection of sets has a minimal element. And we can assume this is x by, otherwise we just replace um, x by this minimal closed subset. We can assume x is irreducible Otherwise, X is the union of two spaces, two closed subsets, Y and Z. And you can check that either Y or Z has to violate this inequality. Um, um, and suppose the brouwer menger urison dimension of X is greater than or equal to N. Then what we do is we pick... Um, Um, so we pick um, a point P and an open neighbourhood um, U so that the boundary of U has B M U dimension um, at least N minus 1. So the Kroll dimension of the boundary is um, um, at least n minus 1 by notarian induction because this is true for all proper subsets. And now we can get a chain z 
naught contained in Z1 contained in and so on up to Zn minus 1 in the boundary. And we can extend this to a chain Z naught contained in Z1 contained in Zn minus 1 contained in X, which now has length n. So if the BMU dimension um, has it is at least n, then the trull dimension is at least n. So this contradicts our, our assumption that x violated this inequality. So this shows that the um, trull dimension of any notarian topological space is at least the brouwer menger urison dimension. Um, OK, so uh, next lecture will not be terribly long and we'll just be showing that the Hilbert definition of dimension is at most equal to the dimension defined using a system of parameters.